All right, beep, welcome everybody. Very quick video on the fly. Uh, we all just woke up, obviously, in the Northern Hemisphere. But down there uh, in Koala Land, Australia, Brandon Gurry, expectedly, I mean, it's not even a surprise. I mean, you know what? It's not even eventful. Yes, I mean, he won by a freaking landslide. It was not even funny, right? Matter of fact, it was not even compared to the rest. So there you have it. Uh, Brandon Curry, arguably even better than his shape uh, last week in uh, Kiwi Land, New Zealand. He won the Arnold Classic Australia, was given a very good speech uh, by Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can see his trainer next to him, Mr. Abdullah from the Camel Crew. Uh, right, uh, well, quite eventful person behind him. This is the head judge, Steve Weinberger, right, the, the biggest judge in the IFVB, of course, the head judge. What is eventful today is not uh, the win, because it was expected, but rather the health issues of Dallas McCarver, he pretty much fainted. So you guys can see he was not even in the last call out, right? So uh, the win was taken by Brandon, second was Max Charles, third was Lockett, and fourth was uh, the lightweight uh, guy Cicerino coming to box with the big boys. So what happened actually to Dallas? Dallas fainted, uh, fainted uh, backstage, supposedly. Uh, as you guys know, Sean Ray, me and him are not friends in a sense. I mean, he blocked me ages ago, and I blocked him back on social media, so we do not interact for all intents, uh, intents and purposes. But uh, when he's right, he is right, right? When he says some truth, I tend to agree with him, right? So this is what he posted, actually, on a forum, right? Uh... Of course, Muscular Development uh, Forum, no ball. He mentioned these names. Nasser El Sambari, may he rest in peace, dead. Uh, young Blood, dead. Now, Young Blood came back when he was old. I think he was 50, right? He came back from, from the dead, in a sense. I mean, he was uh, a millionaire, but he, you know, he wanted to, uh, to do bodybuilding again at, at an advanced age. I think he was 50 or more, so he passed away. If I do remember, uh, Prince, this is Tom Prince, one of the best physiques. I loved his version 2001 Night of Champions, currently known as the New York Pro. He brought a crazy shape. However, kidney transplant, as you guys know, Flex Wheeler kidney transplant. Although Flex says it is a family issue, personally, I don't believe that. I think it has to do with bodybuilding. Uh, Don Long, no kidneys, baby, please. Uh, Dennis Wolf, Coleman, near death in a bathtub before the Olympia while working with the Chad Mamba. Now, Mamba happens to be a snake, a very venomous snake of Africa, right? And Chad, I think he's referring to a person called Chad Nichols, right? Who happens to be the current guru of current guru of uh, Mr. Dallas uh, McCarver, right? Now, if you guys do remember back in the day, uh, supposedly, well, Ronnie Coleman spoke about this. He went to Flex Wheeler and he told him, bro, what are you guys doing to look like this? What are you guys doing to be in this great shape? And back then, Ronnie Coleman was a nobody. I mean, Ronnie Coleman back in the day was not even compared to the likes of Kevin Lavroni, Sean Ray, uh, Dorian Yates, or Flex Wheeler. And supposedly Flex Wheeler told him, bro, go ahead and see a guy named Chad. <laughs> That's how Coleman was introduced, supposedly, to this person called Chad, right? Anyway, uh, Sean Ray proceeds and say, these are the ones we know about. Now, Dallas at 25, pray he sees the light before darkness sets in. Things that make you go, hmm, right? So this is what Sean Ray said about uh, the, the, the current situation of Dallas and his trainer slash guru, uh, Chad Nichols. He proceeds and say uh, this. He said, nearly passed out on stage. He goes to the side of the stage and throws up. He had been administered some IV drip. He wanted to compete again. The head judge, Steve Weinberger, says no. My advice, drop your guru, go back to the gym and train. Slow the F 
down and stop listening to everybody. Shut it down and go home. Pop up in two years and you're gonna be the next, or you're gonna be the next Trey Brewer. And I stop right there. I stop right there at Trey Brewer. I made a video by Trey Brewer and I called him an uh, unrealized potential. You guys remember that video, right? Now Trey Brewer for you who forgot about him, he was an upcoming, uh, they called him the barely legal champion or the barely legal bodybuilder because he was less than 21. He had those crazy quads development. He was sponsored by BSN. He was taking picture with Mr. Ronnie Coleman back then. He was uh, prepped as the next Mr. Olympia. I remember him making a video and his trainer was saying, bro, uh, this is Mr. Olympia material. Next thing you know, he was burnt out at 25. He was never able to come back. He tried to come back, he was flat, uh, you know, destroyed, like burnt chemically. He, he took his uh, retirement as, at the age of 26 or 25, right? Completely destroyed, unrealized potential. And I'm gonna tell you this, Personally, I had a chat with the boss, actually, of Dallas a few days ago, right? A respectful ch a chat with Mr. Singerman, who is the promoter, in the sense, of, um, of, of uh, Dallas. And, you know, it was a very respectful chat. He sent me some products. I just got them yesterday. God bless him and everything. And I gave him my, my proper, honest opinion. I told him, Rob, you know, this year, uh, Mr. Dallas, he's, he's not good. He's just not good. I mean, he's 10 years younger than Brandon. And Brandon made so much progress in freaking three months. And quite frankly, I think that Dallas uh, did not make a progress, but rather he went down since last year, Mr. Olympia. And he's such a good of a prospect. I made videos about him. I said, bro, he is in the... Uh, Trinity, the Holy Trinity of prospects, right? Like the next Miss Olympia can be him, right? There is Nathan Diasha, uh, uh, there is him, and uh, pretty much it, right? So uh, uh, Josh maybe, but with this year, no, it's, it's sad news, sad news, right? Uh, on top of that, he also has bronchitis. He also has uh, bronchitis, and he is sick, and that's it. Uh, Sean Ray proceeds and say, uh, the day may never come if you keep letting these gurus feed you full of uh, off shit, right? So uh, that's that. So I'll leave it at that. And before letting you go, uh, let's go and see uh, what Dallas has said actually in his own profile, right? So this is it. He said, I'll be the first to clear the air. I did collapse during prejudging. I've been fighting an upper uh, respiratory infection uh, ever since Columbus, Ohio, of course, which has now turned into a bad case of bronchitis. That on top of being in a depleted slash dehydrated state for the past three weeks straight had me in a really bad spot this morning. Me and Chad Nichols, this is the guy that uh, Sean Ray refers to as the Mamba. Again, a Mamba is a very venomous snake. I think it's top five in the world. I think it's the most venomous one of Africa, right? Contemplated pulling out earlier today, but we all know I ain't made that way. Okay, that's the attitude. Is it uh, positive, negative? You guys tell me. Uh, the bronchitis had me all chalked up and unable to breathe and catch my breath and get oxygen during the posing rounds. That along with being depleted and dehydrated was just too much for my body to take. Next thing I know, I was on the floor backstage. All that matters to me now is my health. I'll be okay. Just, uh, and it embarrassed and sorry to all the fans. God bless you, Dallas. Really, God bless you, bro. I salute the guy. You can see him here next to Steve Weinberger. You can see Lockett and, of course, the champion, uh, Brandon uh, Curry. Uh, what's up? You know, Dallas, straight up, bro. Listen, uh, take the right decision, step back, do it the proper way, right? You probably you're the, the heaviest guy in the circuit after Big Grammy, 
but you need to follow the proper steps, take the proper decisions. God bless you. I do not wish to see you chemically burnt. I do not wish to see you chemically burnt. The version you have this year, it looks like that. You know, it, it just looks like that. I'm, I, you guys know me. I'm, I'm, I'm following bodybuilding for almost 30 years now. And, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm just observing, right? And after a while, you get the look. I mean, you, me, uh, I look at behind a screen. And what I see now is something reminiscent of Trey Brewer, right? God bless you. This is it, guys. I'll keep you posted. Tell me what you guys think about it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe.